<sighs> oh man, in last week's video, uh, I think Ben made a comment about how uh, I sounded like Batman, and that was not a good thing. I was not doing so well. Turned out a couple days later, I was pretty sick. Thank God it wasn't like anything serious. But we're back in action today. Today we're gonna talk about three things. Quick video, winter photography gear, getting ready for winter. What I have found, especially moving to the Northwest from somewhere like California, where I lived like by the beach and just, I didn't even own jeans for a long time. I just had shorts, board shorts. So uh, yeah, moving up here was a big, big shift in life. But here are three things to think about. Three, three things that for me have made winter photography very possible, very successful last season. I'm bringing them into this season, wanted to share them all with you. First up are these Valorant gloves. These gloves are made for photographers. They're not too bulky. Uh, they have a great tactile feel. There's this gripping material on the inside of the hand, flaps for the index finger and thumb to sort of release so you can hit controls or touch controls, things like that. There's a zippered pocket on top so you can throw an SD card in there in a pinch if you need to. And yeah, they're super warm. I have the large V2s. The V3s I think are just about to come out or maybe have just come out. This is something that's super helpful because if you try to do photography, you've tried to operate your camera or do anything technical with a pair of gloves on, it can be very frustrating if they're not the right gloves. Next is the Peak Design Shell. Uh, this shell is good for rain or snow. It has no problem keeping liquid water or solid off of your camera. There's a small soft hood over the front lens area to make sure there isn't things falling on that front element. And with three different size options and these cinch cables, you'll always make sure you have a solid fit for any camera. And I know what you might be thinking, hey Steven, I, you know, I just go out and I use a trash bag or some type of plastic grocery bag, a poncho maybe, I don't know. Uh, here's why you shouldn't. Those things tear all the time and the worst thing is thinking that you've protected your camera or you're protecting your gear only to find out that the one critical place, maybe by like a lock or some type of like your autofocus switch, maybe it's something like a important dial on your camera is not being protected from those elements. And secondly, if you show up to a paid gig and your client is watching you try to take photos through a plastic bag, uh, you're not gonna look as prepared as someone who has professional gear to do that job that's gonna protect their gear reliably through that job. And guess what, you're gonna get the next job if you show that you are professionally prepared to do that work. And finally, get a CP filter. That's the last thing on this list, and here's why I think you should have one, especially for winter. And you may be thinking, if you already have a CP filter, okay, I can put this away, I'm not gonna be necessarily shooting over water, maybe. There's maybe not as much glare as there has been uh, during the summer months. All that may be true, but consider this use case, where maybe you're inside a car driving around looking to take shots, or you're inside of a coffee shop downtown, some type of shop where you have some big windows that you may want to take a photo from. You know, you're nice and warm wherever you are and you don't want to necessarily get out to get that shot. You see actually some composition from the window. So throw on that CP filter and that'll cut down on any window reflections that you have. And now you can get that shot without freezing your socks off. Hey, that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty handy if you ask me. So there it is. Super quick video. I thought that was fun. You know, just three things to get you locked and loaded for winter. I, I'm stoked to see all of your winter photos. Uh, don't be afraid to go take photos out in the elements, and you won't if you have this kind of gear, you know? So thank you all so much for watching. My name is Steven Foster. Subscribe to this channel if you have yet to, and I'm honored by all of you who already have. Seriously, thank you guys so much for making 2021 uh, such a cool year for me and for all of us here that are doing stuff on YouTube. Be kind both in life and in the comments below and like this video to send good vibes across the internet. And we'll do it again soon. Later.